If there's one thing that Dennis Wall doesn't like, it's a big snow job. Especially by his bank. Things are kept hidden from consumers, and the consumer really has to be wary. He's wary of the way TD sells its mortgages. It's kind of like walking into a used car sales room. A few years ago, Dennis signed on the dotted line for a new mortgage. Everything seemed to be exactly as it had been before. Turns out it was quite different. He'd signed a collateral mortgage, one that automatically lets you borrow more than your house is worth. What they didn't tell him? It's harder to switch to another bank at the end of the term, and it costs money to do it. Oh, we were royally pissed off, actually. I don't know if you're going to use that. Marketplace visited TD. Are there any differences in the mortgages uh, here uh, um, compared to the other banks? Dennis was right. We found they weren't very upfront about their collateral mortgages and how they work. After our story aired, TD and the other big banks promised to explain different types of mortgages in easy to understand language and make that information available online and in branches. So now we're heading back to a couple of TD branches to test those promises. Giving us her take? Personal finance expert Rubina Ahmed Hawk. She's a business journalist and money blogger. These conversations should start with the word collateral because that's going to be unusual and different to customers. So they're going to say, what do you mean by collateral? So is TD delivering on its promises? The first test, do they use that crucial buzzword, collateral, and explain it? I just wanted to know just basically like about what you guys offer, that kind of thing, and how it's different than what everybody else is offering. I mean, I'll be completely candid with you. Most of the banks that you'll go into, the, the sort of terms and rates and everything are going to be pretty similar. I think the word collateral not coming out in that is a huge problem because that is the major difference. Yes, you're still going to get an interest rate that you can negotiate at that time. Yes, you're still going to get a term. All these things we're already familiar with, but tell me what I'm not familiar with. Mortgages are essentially like I said. At this branch, it's, just a, it's a lending product. It takes a while before this guy mentions collateral. It's a charge, right? Like, uh -huh. so the, like it's, col it's technically collateral, so the bank has col that collateral on your, on your property. Uh -huh. And that's why we're able to, to lend the uh, low interest rates, right? And when we ask him to explain it... It's, uh -huh. it's, uh, TD has a charge on, uh, registered charge on your property, right? Okay. So How are you? that's what the mortgage is, is tied against, is uh -huh. the home. Right? Yeah. So if we lend you money, that's what the charge is. How well do you think he explained it, given that TD has committed to using language that is clear, simple, and not misleading? I mean, if you understand something, you know, to its core, you're able to explain it in plain English, and he's not explaining it. Time for test number two. Do they explain it can be more difficult to shop around when your mortgage term is up? Is it just easy to kind of just move on to a different place? It bank? is, but it, I don't know I mean, if it actually advantages you. If you're constantly shopping around on rates, you're losing out on sort of the substance of the relationship, and that's what really improves on things. Not explained here, and at another branch... Like if I'm with TD, like at the end of five years, if I want to... difficult, but you have to realize... But it is difficult, and it can cost you. It would be expensive because you'd have to pay discharge fees, you might have to pay legal fees, appraisal fees, all different types of fees that would be involved as if you were getting a brand new mortgage. Neither branch clearly explains all the strings attached. So far, TD's not faring very well. So, test number three. Do they have that information they promised customers? Uh, let me see what I can actually give to you. Yeah, that's it. I'm just, that's, that's what I'm trying to find is something that I can actually print out for you. Uh, let's see here. No info here or at the other branch. Banks have said that they're going to provide clear language, have good information available about collateral mortgages. So why isn't that available at your fingertips? Having looked at all of this footage, what do you think of our visits to TD? I think they really got a failing grade. What would our expert like to see? Make it really super duper clear so that nobody, including my grandmother, would be confused about what a collateral mortgage is. 
we were banking on an interview with TD, but the company says no, sends us a statement saying they're working with sales staff and making information available. Back in Ottawa, TD's on thin ice with Dennis Wall. Uh, the moral of the story for the consumer is, you know, it's a, the same old story, find out more. But don't assume you are being given all the information that you do require to make a decision. Because he says he's been snowed too many times. You know, I have difficulty even walking into a branch of TD. 